Let's uh, sack it for the big dollar. And move right on in. I should probably stop raiding myself now that it belongs to me. And get out and hunt some dwarves. Hey, how you doing, buddy? We were waiting on a goblin big boss. I'm not going to even find somewhere. We still don't have three capacity yet. So I guess we're good. Yeah, let's give our, our goblin a bit more attack. I'm a schemer. Let's give Skarsnick round one of ready and waiting. Night goblins are sneaky and pervasive. They creep and crawl from every hole to join in the killing. So a, he's very different in his blue line. He's got a faction-wide effect for battle reinforcement time to be all the way down to 30% uh, quicker. Which is amazing. So even after we're into the next area, we're going to come back and get the rest of this. Because everyone else has Lightning Strike here. But Skarsnik starts with Lightning Strike. In Warlord of the Eight Peaks, his uh, starting trait. Sounds like a good idea. Also, have your big boss is a bit of a dodgy geezer. Very hard to hit with missiles. Who needs killing? Our river troll hag is gonna miss cars less. Cork and more cork, I mean. and we're gonna hit more with our goblin. I has powers. Spread some control. <laughs> Ah, where's Egg? He now has the best of the best out of his orc boys. And now, everyone in his army deals magical damage. Uh, it also strips enemies of any magic resistance they may have for enemy armies in the region. So... Where I've been struggling to hit dwarves very hard with the foot of Gult, even as recently as that last battle. Soon I'll be able to hit them properly. Those on the wrong side of Wurzag find themselves blasted apart by his magic, or worse, turned into squigs. Fury of the Prophet. I has my mystic powers. Um, so we're going to get extra movement speed for his troll. Expeditious Endeavor. What the army cannot see, it cannot hit. What the enemy cannot see, it cannot survive. Don't really want to get her too much leadership, because she'll die rather than run away. And then the melee attack and the devastating charge aren't really so important to me right now. But being able to move around the battlefield a bit better or chase people down, that's valuable. Nasty magic ready. Our quick hire is going to need extra power in goblins. And extra power in things such as trolls and rogue idols and such. So I did say I was going to give this guy maybe even more Regiments of Renown if we came across some more money. So let's get him the, the Squig Hoppers. But then he's got like far too much cavalry and all that's left is more cavalry. Let's 
get the Blackhawk Forge for the reductions. And a much better base. And generally just improve what we got. Get a little bit of extra goblin big boss capacity like I'm trying to go with at a few different locations. Uh, and some extra river troll hags. Can't go wrong with money and walls. I'm actually not going to buy that last one. Because I don't know how much money I'm going to have for upkeep once my new troops are in. So let's research sharing is caring. We're going to share more of the loot, boss. Uh, share more with you, I mean. Everything is going to cost me 10% less upkeep. It's really good. We can repair that, that's cheap. So we are making headway towards our dwarf target, but we are going to have to kill a hell of a lot of Talians on the way, again, especially this Talian right here. I refuse such orders. There's our high elf that's declared war on us out of nowhere. Our ally clan Moor has been attacked by some lizardmen. Well, we're not going to break the agreement. We're going to enter the war on his side. Under slaughter is a good name. Bear it in mind when you start talking. He wants to buy a bigger deal, but he can't. In fact, for bothering me on the telephone, I am going to demand that he gives me 1,000 teeth. We have nice things to offer you. You take. Yes, yes. So there we go. He decided he didn't want none, now that we've uh, recruited our regiments of renown. He's off skis. Back the way he came. There we go. It's kind of nice to see the undead rolling across the plane. Attacking who I can't be bothered to attack. I knew teaming up with Vlad at the start was what I wanted to do. And it seems to be okay. 